I'm with Lori Palombo, who's the Chief Operating Officer with ID Travel Group. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely raspberry. <laughs> Great color. Thank you so much. <laughs> what, what is ID Travel Group, please? It's a tour operator based in Larchmont, New York, with offices also in Singapore, focused on four and five star luxury uh, properties, mainly warm weather beach destinations. Could you get a bit more into what kind of things do you package to where? Okay, may, well, very big in the Caribbean, um, also uh, Mexico, Hawaii, Asia. Uh, what makes us unique as a tour operator is we're experts on what we sell. Every, every hotel has been vetted by my team. They visit, they experience the spa, the restaurants, um, every room category they know. Uh, they'll know the location, know how far it is from each room to the beach, anything you might need. If you have a special family that needs connecting rooms or uh, you have adult children, whatever the case is, whatever you need, we can customize. We have a full-time concierge on staff to do clients' dinner reservations, spa appointments. We'll customize for each family or individual. The, uh, your customer base, how much of it comes via travel agencies? 100%. We're B2B. We only sell to travel professionals. We don't sell oh. to the public. Oh. And how does the Singapore uh, worked in. What happened? <laughs> well, you know, there was a recession, uh -huh. and uh, you need to look at other options. Uh, so uh, we're very involved with Virtuoso. It's a very big client for us, yes. and they have a very big uh, client base in Australia. So we decided to open an office in Singapore to handle the outbound business from Australia and start to focus on China and Hong Kong as well. And uh, what what are you generating out of there now? Um, well, they, they look at us, of course, in Australia as experts in the Caribbean. So when Australians come to the U.S., they usually stay a little bit longer and like to try uh, different islands, Mexico, mm -hmm. Caribbean. So we handle that. And then, of course, um, everything in Southeast Asia. So a lot of um, the Maldives, Dubai, um, Thailand, Indonesia will handle that as well. Okay. Back to the Caribbean here. Mm -hmm. um, do your clients... Uh, generally stay at inclusive hotels, majority? There's a mix. Yeah, there's a mix. Um, we we um, have a very big um, collection of five-star boutique luxury hotels, and then we have another collection of the luxury all-inclusives. We're seeing it grow more and more, especially as um, families are traveling together. It makes it very easy to have one price, have everything included uh, with small children and grandma and grandpa. One price does it all, and people love it. How about villa or home rentals, mm -hmm. upscale ones, where you know comes mm -hmm. with a maid and cook and gardeners, mm -hmm. etc.? Yes, we're experts on that as well. Uh, we're seeing more of that with hotel properties than individual. There was a time that we used to sell a lot more individual villas, but now since so many properties have these beautiful villas along with the hotel amenities, clients are loving that because then they have the spa, they have the facilities for the children, they have the restaurants along with the private villa and the maid and the cook and the butler. Uh, why to date have you not uh, entered, or maybe you are, in the UK European market? Well, I feel we have a lot of competitors there. I think that uh, the company's doing a very good job, the so there's really nothing that we could add there. So mm -hmm. we focus on mainly US, Canada. We've uh, branched into Latin America as well. I have a rep in Latin America, uh, Australia, Canada, and then the US. As a virtuoso member, do you find uh, there's a following of virtuoso members to your services? Absolutely. They're very strong clients. We're preferred with uh, both virtuoso, signature, affluent traveler, travel leaders, uh, VCOM. It's very important for us to be um, in this consortia because we are only B2B. And um, this gives us um, direct contact with them. So they're very good clients. With the uh, strong growth of Airbnb. To what extent is that a product for you or a competition for you? It, would, it may be considered competition. We don't really see it as that because we're really dealing in the five-star luxury market. So our clientele, um, you know, our average ADR is about 1,300 a night. Our average trip is 10,000. So it's a different level of client that wants certain amenities and services, and that's what we provide. Excellent. So um, your website is... Um, www.islanddestinations.com 
or www.idtravelgroup.com. Excellent. Lori Palumbo, thank you so much. Thank you.